As COVID cases surge across Texas, children with the virus are filling hospitals. Child care centers are also reporting more cases and now worry about the spread of the Delta variant among children and staff. As KXAN investigator Arzo Dost explains, state data shows a big spike in COVID-19 cases just this month. At Main Spring schools in Austin, temperature checks, masking, sanitizing, and requiring parents to drop off and pick up outside only are part of everyday COVID-19 protocols and have been for about a year now. The vaccination and our staff really kept things at bay and our kids throughout the pandemic really haven't been infected. That's changed all of a sudden. Jason Gindel with the school says in July, three students under three years old and four vaccinated staff members tested positive for the virus. He says they suspect it was the Delta variant because of the severe symptoms. That required us to close various parts of the school depending on uh, proximity and exposure. Child care providers are required by Texas Health and Human Services to report positive COVID-19 cases. State data shows child care centers are seeing a spike in numbers. In June, more than 230 cases for both kids and employees were reported to the state. By July, the numbers hit more than a thousand cases. And in August so far, positive cases have nearly tripled since last month. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Travis County has reported the most cases in child care centers, followed by Williamson County. A spokesperson with Texas Health and Human Services says they are closely monitoring the current situation with COVID-19. The state has a list of recommendations for child care centers, which was updated in May and based on CDC guidance. It includes strongly encouraging kids aged 10 or older to wear masks, intensifying cleaning and disinfection efforts, and implementing screening procedures. The recommendations say child care centers can add other protocols to help protect employees and kids. The drop off and pick up is still continued to be outside. We still take temperatures at the door. If children have any COVID type symptoms, we make sure that they cannot come in without a doctor's note. Joy Strain is the owner of Hippo Learning Station in Huddo and Pathways Child Development Center in Round Rock. She says most recently they had a handful of positive cases in late July. For her team, she says the key has been working with parents and gathering information through a questionnaire. What do they want to see in place? Because it's their children that they're having to worry about when they leave them with us. Both Strain and Gendel believe the stricter protocols have helped them stay open. Here at our school with children and staff, to keep them safe, it means an entire community has to be safe. Arzo Dost, KXAN Investigates. Child care centers say another hurdle right now is having enough employees. They're hiring, but say it's been hard to find qualified educators compared to before the pandemic. The state says more than a thousand child care centers have closed since March.